Hi, I'm Phil Radford, the Executive Director of Greenpeace. I am outraged about the fact that MSU, Michigan State University, has the biggest coal plant on any campus in the United States, right in the middle of campus where it affects students' health. Burning coal for electricity causes heart attacks, kills over 13,000 Americans a year, it causes asthma attacks and other problems, and it causes climate change, which could really affect those students' future. Instead of burning coal, Michigan State University could easily convert to energy efficiency and clean energy like wind and solar. Last October, I joined about 400 students at the conference called Midwest Power Shift. The conference was full of students from across the country that are part of the movement to move campuses and our communities from coal energy to clean energy. On stage, I held up my cell phone and called the president of MSU, and all the students joined me in a huge demand that MSU shift from coal to clean energy. President Simon, my name is Phil Radford, I'm the Executive Director of Greenpeace. And I'm here with a few friends. <laughs> 400 students in the audience all screamed out together, quit coal. This week, there's a week of action across the country where hundreds of campuses, where students on those campuses are calling for a shift from coal to clean energy. At MSU, students put this banner up on one of their buildings. Today, I'm calling each trustee of MSU and urging them to vote against this energy transition plan, which essentially has no timelines, no deadlines. Um, urges the university to either stay on coal or shift to natural gas, which is barely better than coal. Um, it doesn't have provisions for shifting to 100% clean energy. So I'm calling one by one and we'll see what they say. I'm calling on behalf of our campus chapter and our students that go to MSU and urging you to vote against the weak energy transition plan coming up. Um, students are really looking for your leadership to transition from coal to 100% clean energy and energy efficiency. They expect timelines and real dates and deadlines for the plan. Mm -hmm. Joel, I'm just calling on behalf of our students that are in our, our campus chapter at MSU um, to urge you to vote against the energy transition plan. Could you tell her that Phil Radford called, R-A-D-F-O-R-D? just that the students want a full shift to clean energy. Um, and they're urging you and I'm urging you to vote against the energy transition plan this week. Um, the plan essentially has no specific deadlines or timelines. It doesn't call for a phase out of coal. Hi, is this George? Hi George, my name is Phil Radford. I'm the Executive Director of Greenpeace. I was just giving you a quick call because we have a lot of students on campus at MSU who are a member of the Greenpeace chapter there. And they asked me to give you a call be about the uh, vote coming up on the energy transition plan at the Board of Trustees. Well basically, I was just calling because they are concerned that the existing plan doesn't have a specific date for shutting the coal plant, um, that it might favor natural a specific date for when the plant would be shut um, and that the, it really favors natural gas over really investing in energy efficiency and clean energy. So they're, they're, they're hoping you'll vote no on that and I was just wondering what you're thinking about it. So you, you plan to vote against the plan and ask for one that gets us to clean energy? Great. Okay. Well, that's great to hear. I'm sure the students will be really excited to see that. Well, thank you so much for your time. Bye. So I just called five trustees of Michigan State University. We know that one of them has told the students that they will vote against this and will push for 100% clean energy. The second who I spoke to said they're leading that way as well. So the students are clearly doing an amazing job of really building momentum for clean energy and to shut that coal plant. We'll see what happens within this week, but young people have always led social movements and have always made history, and I think the MSU students can be part of that.